Hi everyone, here's a quick setup guide for the PreSonus Revelator that just came out. I'll try to keep it snappy so you can get to doing what you want to do. Let's go over to my.presonus.com and enter your serial number and purchase date. You can find that here. The Revelator should pop up. If that page doesn't come up, go to products and then hardware and click view more details on the Revelator. Download universal control for your system. This is almost a must. You can get on fine without it, but it's more of a necessity and not fluff. You can also download Studio One Artist if you want. It's optional and free. To do that, back up to Products, go to Software, and download from there. Once Universal Control has been downloaded and the Revelator is plugged in with your headphones plugged into the Revelator, go down to your sound settings. To do this, right click on the speaker icon and hit Sounds. Go to Playback and set the Revelator, not headphones or speakers, as the default device and then go to recording and set it as default there as well. Next, we're opening up Universal Control. The Revelator should show up at the bottom. If it doesn't, try unplugging and plugging it back in and then restarting Universal Control. It should now show up at the bottom where you can click on it to open up the control panel. Don't be overwhelmed by this setup. It's actually quite simple and does everything for you. Most important is the mic gain on the far left. That sets your input volume, which can be set by moving that dial around or by holding the monitor button on the mic itself until it turns green and then turning the dial. Note that mine is at zero and remember that many times you don't even need this any higher. Set it too high and you'll clip. Then the playback is your output volume. If you navigate over to the main tab, we were on the phones tab before, that is what the listener will hear if you're video chatting or streaming. For them, the sliders on the right, playback, loopback 1, and loopback 2, should all be down at the bottom. Gain should be left where it was. We won't worry about the other sliders for now, but basically, they allow for other sound outputs. Hiding on the right is a small button to change your headphone output from mono to stereo, along with yet another output volume control. In the top section, you have your fun settings all laid out nice and easy. There are presets on the left with even more presets on the dial, but you can tweak in between with the fat channel and reverb settings, or hit the dots and really get into it. You can also toggle through these presets on the mic, or turn them all off by holding the preset button until it goes red. Lastly, you have the gear in the corner which brings up one important setting in particular, the polar pattern. By default, it should be on cardioid, which means that the mic is only picking up sound in the front for if you're streaming or something. The next pattern, figure 8, takes sound in from both sides as if you're doing an interview in person. Finally, the Omni pattern takes in sound from all sides for a multi-person chaotic jamboree. You can also reset all settings from here if you screw up. To check the playback on your headphones, bring the slider up from the bottom and open up something to play. It's important that this is in a newly created window, so I open up iTunes because I'm a boomer. Start playing a song. The bars should be jumping around on the playback meter and you should hear the music. If you don't hear anything, turn the dial up on the mic because it could be just that your volume is too low. Overall, this mic is so far so good. Its build screams quality and is made for the future being USB-C compatible. I've been using it with DaVinci Resolve. If you want to configure it for that purpose as well, meander on over here. If you don't have it and now want it, I put a link in the description to purchase, along with a link to the manual on PreSonus's website. Take care now, y'all.